This is the face of a man who has no idea of the battle he's about to take part in. To him, this is just a normal day of playing Polybridge 3, but very shortly, everything is about to change. Okay, so a car goes across first, and then the bridge moves out of the way for the boat, and then it comes back for the bikers. I mean, this is a pretty simple setup, all things considered. It's just two roads that need to be escorted out of the way somehow. I have 35,000 to work with, which means I have 11,000 more to work with. That probably means no foundation. See, I wonder if instead of foundations, I could just do like cable under supports for pretty much the entire bridge. I mean, that's also expensive, but it is cheaper than the foundation because I could do something like that. Does this hold? It wiggles. It wiggles like a lot. Does this stabilize it? Even though I know it's like way over budget. Stabilizes it slightly, yes. Oh, it made it to his goal. Wait a second. Does the hydraulic start contracting the second that I hit the star? Uh, excuse me? Wait, that's not okay. Do these steels help support? Actually, yes. Wait, those steels just made all the difference. This might just be a functioning bridge. It only 6,000 over. With this many moving parts, I bet I could save it. Like, I wonder if the cables could become ropes, for instance. Yeah, let's try rope. That alone would almost get it done. Oh, and it works. Yo, this is a good bridge. Maybe I could just replace the steels with uh, wood muscles and that'd get it done. Oh, 10th place? Excuse me? Wow, it's been a while since I've been doing good on the leaderboard. Maybe I'll do a cool budget shave on this one then. So for starters, it's under budget. I bet I can shave a lot of money when it comes to the wood under trust though. And also probably even the deepest point of the rope could be uh, higher up. Oh, eighth place. How cheap is cheapest? It's only $3,000 cheaper. I wonder if I can do it. I could probably raise these trusses. It's almost arch-like now. Well, let's start with that. Keep it simple for now. I'll try to get rid of some more wood pieces eventually. And it's nice to have a bridge that actually is reasonably on grid. Very close to the sixth place now. So the question I have is, how many of like, these horizontal wood pieces do I need? So how many could just be X's? Not that one. What about this one? Ooh, that one can go. Oh, it does wobble a little bit, but it works. I could probably go off grid to tweak this. I probably could fix up the hydraulic even further. I mean, I'll have to do it eventually. So might as well start now. I'm just guesstimating this one. Ooh, that's too long a hydraulic. What have I done? How dare I make too big a hydraulic? I could smell first place with this one. I really could. It's fourth place and third place is not far off. I think this is the shortest the hydraulic's gonna get because that is dangerously close to clipping that boat. And it's also like barely supporting anything, but it is under 33. Third place. Oh, Beast 101 just shaved. He's playing right now. Oh no. Oh, it's a live bridge building competition. Now I got 1300 to do. Uh, there's gotta be some other pieces I can delete or at least move in. I can move this piece in and then this piece up. No, that's bad. Move this piece up. Nice. He's in the chat even. He, he's saying he's not here, but he's here. We can see you. I'm coming for you, Mr. Beast. 1300, he got it even cheaper. Oh, oh my God. Every time I shave, he shaves for the same amount. All right, is it too wobbly if I just get rid of this? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. All right, what if I take off the grid? Oh, then I have some other problems. All right, raise these points up. It's only $100 off, but every little shave counts. At least I'm coming up on second place. Beast continues to shave by the exact amount that I'm shaving by. The madman. The ropes are super stressed. They are ultra stressed. The rest though isn't that stressed. What if I try an over support here? Will it completely screw me? Or will it wiggle a little too much? Oh, it actually just stresses the rope. Okay, what if I take the rope and move it down then? Oh, wait, there's a chance. There is a chance here. Oh, the car made it across. The over support. That's a huge budget shave, right? I think I got second. I'm coming for you, Beast 101. $300 away. Uh, and this over support was very hastily done. I think I can shave a lot of money on it. Eh, a lot is relative. At least 100. Oh, it makes it across. There's another $100 off. 250 away. I guess I can like make, I can do this, but this is ugly and bad. 
It almost works though, so maybe there's like a middle ground? Maybe there is. But yeah, having it bend like that is generally bad, but this time it gets another $50 off. I have to go five times speed just to be able to keep up with them. $150 to go. What if I like just take this and just tweak it up? Not a full grid length. Oh, but a partial grid length. That's a budget shave. Oh, Beast pulled ahead by another 100 though. He's now 200 ahead, but I'm tweaking the rope on the bottom and this is a mighty expensive rope. That might be its limit, unless if like having it not be centered is beneficial. Because maybe if I move it more to the left, I could save some money from the wood too. Yeah, what if it's not centered? Oh, it works if it's not centered. We stand an asymmetrical bridge. That's another 100 off for me. Ooh, like 120 away from Beast. I mean, we were coming down to like tiny, tiny tweaks at this point. Oh, that almost made it. Okay, from here, it's different though, because I can move these wood pieces up, which is shorter and probably better. Then I can also move... No, I can't move that piece up. That's more expensive. But I am down to 31.2. I think $100 away now. Oh, he got a big shave. He's 250 ahead now. Oh, I can't believe he optimized that well. All right, I need to step back and actually analyze the stress levels here. How are my muscles doing? I mean, they're only moderately stretched stress. The only reason they're muscles is because they need to reach that distance. However, it might be cheaper if instead I get rid of the top half of the muscle, replace it with rope. I mean, it is cheaper. Wait, what if I replace it with wood rope as a stabilizer? Because it all kind of comes down to these wood pieces here. They get stressed but not breaking. I'm at a cool night. Oh no! It got so far. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I have one muscle and the other be... Uh, the, the design over here. Okay, it can be asymmetrical. I think that's a pretty good shave on my part. That's another $100 off. I'm 140 away now. He's gonna break the plane of 31,000. Okay, can I take this and make it a little bit higher up then? That still holds. It's just the right side that takes the brunt of it. Well, maybe I could weaken the left side even further then. Oh, he's below 31,000. I've got like 170 to go now. Oh, and there's a bunch of other people getting pretty darn close themselves. What about like some of these other ropes because this could go up considerably oh that's a huge shave for me hold on i don't think that reached this full potential but that was just like a good chunk right there oh boy he's still shaving i mean i got 130 to go but let's keep raising this just make sure the rope doesn't collide with the boat so that's the main thing i am below 31,000 now and climbing or falling i guess Oh, he got a oh, he got a huge chunk off. Are you kidding me? I have to get two hundred dollars more. At least we're ahead of like all the other chumps. All right, next idea: raise this rope. Oh, that one's good. Okay, I think it was just a little bit concave. That was my issue. Oh, I'm creeping up again. One hundred thirty away. This is unbelievable. How much we're both able to shave? I could raise this up a little. That's also an arch. That's a very tiny shave. I'm just kind of dreading because I saw in chat the beast just got a huge bump. He is 300 away now. Good news is us two are in a league of our own. It'll take a while for anyone to catch up to us. Maybe make it symmetrical. The thing is though, there's nothing symmetrical about this bridge at all. I mean, look at the rope even for starters. Maybe I should look at the rope more. Maybe it's time I could raise this a bit since I have 5% stress to work with. Well, it's not significant, but it helps. It still has 5% stress to work with. Yeah, maybe I just need to keep looking at the rope. I yeah, keep raising these wood pieces. They're trash. That's another $100 off. The stress is even better. And now I'm $200 away. Okay. A little renaissance here. Maybe I could make this tighter. Maybe I could bring this up a bit more. Maybe I could just arch it. Oh, I totally missed the middle being optimized. That's another $100 off. Hold up. That's a $90 away. And the stress is getting better. It's getting better. I will continue to raise this up. Let's see how this holds. But that holds even better. Okay. I don't know if I actually saved money with that. I did. I'm $7 off. Just do something. Anything dumb. It holds. Go, 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 Come on, 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 come on. Yes! The Blitzkrieg last second $300 shave. Yeah, he could overtake me, but I sniped it even for a little bit. 
Ooh, who's the stream sniper now? Can I raise this up? I can raise this up a ton. Oh, I can raise that up a ton, a ton. Ooh, that's a spicy shave right there. I got a clean wood muscle now and just some kind of demented supports above. Let's expand that lead. Who knows how long I'll have it for? Maybe move this in a little too. Just really cheap wood supports. It is wobbly right now, but still holding. Oh, Beast101 tapped out in chat. Dude, thank you for being such good competition. That was a lot of fun. But now my bridge has to go to the great beyond. It is very stressed now, but I would love to be the first under 30,000. What about the arch? I haven't touched the arch in a while. Maybe this can be lowered. Yeah, a little bit. I think sub 30,000 is possible, especially seeing how jank my right side is. <laughs> Although seeing the stress, I don't know. Uh, I'm just competing against myself at this point, but it's a, it's a good competition. Maybe I'll just chill. Just kidding. Ooh, ooh, it's not over yet. Think I can shave another $168? I think it's time. Let's see what I can do, let's see what I can do. Yeah, just try to beef up this area more. Oh, ooh, okay. Shaving money via the hydraulic and just expanding the other stuff. And now I have more stress to work with. Okay, all right, back to shaving hydraulic. That's actually a pretty significant shave. Ooh, that just hits the boat. So I'm gonna move this in a bit. So the pivot point is a little better. Oh no, I gotta move it out a touch. That holds, does it break? It does not break. Okay. Well, I still feel like the hydraulics gotta be shaved. If I got two whole percent to work with. Okay, so I'll bring this back in. All right, that still buckles. I could bring this back in. That works. And sun, we're $38 away. Question, does this actually need to be a compressive arch? What if it's a t um, tension-based arch? Or I have something here. Let's do a straight line. A wood rope here. And a wood rope here. Does that work? It don't. But it is pretty cheap. So what if I just lower this point and then try again? Boom. And boom. Oh, why did I just do that in the first place? That's a huge shave. Well... Okay, that's a commanding takeover. All right, not just barely beating it either. <laughs> I, I thought about that like several minutes ago, but then just didn't do it. Well, let's go, take it back first place twice. Absolute awesome time. I played more in my free time, shaving another $300 off my budget, and this is where my bridge stands today. A remarkable feat of engineering and a remarkable battle to get to that point. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.